after the Civil War, there was a giant economic depression in the US. I want to say the 1865-ish. And people were looking for somebody to blame. So the railroads had already been built. The Chinese had outlived their usefulness. So they became the target. Then there was a ton of anti-Asian sentiment and organized anti-Asian campaigns to throw the Chinese out, right? The Chinese must go was the slogan that people used. That happened here in San Francisco. A lot of it was in San Francisco because there were a lot of Chinese living here. Anti-Asian sentiment was first codified in 1875 by Congress with the Page Act. It barred Chinese women from entering the country. Anti-China sentiment was so high in the West Coast during that period in the 1870s. Again, the yellow peril fear that Asians stole white workers' jobs or brought diseases. That racism was so high that over 200 Chinese settlements along the West Coast were driven out at that time. This was mass displacement by mob violence. We lived in Monterey, California. My family lived there for four decades until the landlord evicted the Chinese community of over 200 people. When the Chinese wouldn't leave, a fire burned down the village. The landlord bulldozed the village into the ocean and fenced off the area so Chinese couldn't return. So my great-grandparents, who again built a home, raised families, had thriving businesses, they had to retreat pretty much penniless to San Francisco Chinatown as the only place of refuge. 